welcome to the first ever Manga Barista reading your comments. Without further ado, here are your comments. <laughs> this is way more than I expected. Okay, let's get to it. Have you read this manga called Fate Type Red Line? It goes hard, but you'll probably be lost if you haven't watched Fate Zero. I'm not a Fate fan. I only watched Fate Zero and I wasn't particularly invested in it. Man, once again, banger video. Thanks for recommendation. I was craving some isekai and that one looks interesting. Since I don't remember you reading this series, here you go. The beginning after the end. Wanted your thoughts. I actually did talk about it a couple of times. In my top 5 manhwa of all time and the best moments in manga in 2022. But in summary, it's very good, one of the best. I love your accent. It was hard to get used to at first, but you are one of my favorite YouTubers. Also love the unique flavor you add to each video. Thank you. You know, before I started the channel, I wasn't sure how people would react to it. Like, will people understand me? Are they gonna click off the moment they hear me talk? But the first comment I ever got on this channel was someone complimenting my accent. And that's all the encouragement I needed. So yeah. I love my accent and I'm glad you do too. Man, you got a godly taste. Thanks for the manga recommendation. I have a question. What is your favorite manga genre? I was curious. Huh. I never really thought about it. But now that I think about it, most of the manga that I read are fantasy. Don't know why, but I guess I'm just attracted to it. Did a magician put a curse on you and you'll never be cured until you have 100k subscribers? How the hell did you know that? I thought we kept it a secret. Hey, what do you mean 100k? I thought the only way to cure it was to find true love! I've been kissing this frog for the past 300 years! Um, moving on. Hi, I like your videos. And I like your face, Ulkar. Hello, my fella. No, that doesn't sound right. Hello, my fella. I wanted to ask you, do you perhaps have a Discord server where we degenerates can group up and exchange our discoveries in the world of manga? And I wanted to ask you if you need a voice for the story, cause I sound like a Disney villain IRL, and good luck on your channel, I will try to spread the name of your channel around on other platforms so keep it up. I don't have a discord server nor do I plan on making one anytime soon, mainly because I don't have the time nor the energy to care for something like that. As for the voice, there were times in the past where I needed voices for my videos both male and female, so I'll be sure to let you know when I need one. Thank you. Hi! Love your videos! And what do you think the most underrated manga is? Oh, easy! Out of all the manga that I've recommended, the most underrated one is Dragon Claw. It still pains me that something so good flew under the radar of so many people. Other than that, I'd say Ryuma no Gago and Red Line. I'm in your walls! Ha! Jokes on you, I have no walls! Am I homeless? Why don't you have a million subscribers yet? <laughs> For some reason YouTube doesn't like recommending my content. It sucks because I really want to bring this manga to people's attention. But hey, it is what it is. Still, I'm happy with our small corner of the internet. And please, let me go. I won't tell anyone. I just want to see my family. You'll see your family when I see my golden play button! So yeah, your guest is as good as mine, Dragon King. Please make a separate YouTube channel for ongoing manga discussions. I would love that and keep Manga Barista as it is for manga recommendations. Overall, I love your content and would love to see more. Hmm, not a bad idea. For now, I just want to focus all my efforts on this channel. But I'll definitely keep it in mind. MATE! Every video you make has so much effort put into it. I hope your channel goes viral somehow. Thank you. My goal is instead of just recommending manga, I want to make fun content. That way, even if you didn't like any of the manga, you will still be entertained by the video itself, and you wouldn't feel like you just wasted your time. So you want to know how I make my videos, huh? It's pretty straightforward. For the intros, I just think up of an intro, then hop onto Blender and do whatever I can to make it come to life. It's the hardest part of the video, but also the most fun and satisfying. Some of you might have seen my Blender screenshots that I post every now and then as teasers. As for the rest of the video, I use Filmora to make it. 
If you're looking to start video editing yourself, I don't recommend you use Filmora. It's very easy and beginner friendly, but there are a lot of things I don't like about it and its company. So you're honestly better off learning Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. It's better for the long run. DaVinci Resolve can do some crazy stuff. The only reason I don't use them is because my PC can't handle them. I just want to know, have you read a manga named Ryu Kusare no Ori Kokoro no Uchi no Kokoro? Just wanted to ask that. Yes I have, and I don't recommend it to anyone, because it was cancelled so abruptly it ruined the entire experience. If given a chance, what type of manga would you create? Smiley face. I'm sure we've all thought about this at some point. If I were to ever make a manga, it would be a treasure hunting fantasy manga. It would be about a group of colorful characters going around the world in search of riches and powerful artifacts. No demon lord, no evil organization that is trying to destroy the world, just one adventure after the other. For a manga like this, the main selling point would be the characters. They have to be likable enough so that the readers would tune in, not for the treasure hunt, but to see those specific characters hunt for treasures. I actually have thought of a couple interesting characters for it, but I'm starting to ramble. So next comment, just the best narrator and the goat. What are you trying to say, huh? I would like to know if you could give recommend manga or manhwa with female MC using magic. Hmm, I rarely ever read manga with a female MC, so nothing comes to mind. Sorry, I just discovered your channel. Your editing is so entertaining. Oh, lovely, a new cult, <coughs> I mean, family member. Welcome, best manga recommendations YouTuber. Also, your editing skills are gold. Thank you. <laughs> it's funny how I started this channel to bring light to underrated manga, only for me to end up being the one called underrated. Say my name. What was the thing that got you into manga and anime? I grew up watching anime, and I never grew out of it, I guess. I never read manga at first, but I reached a point where I had nothing to watch anymore, so I dove into manga and never looked back. How many manga do you go through each week and how do you discover them? By the way, please read your experience if you can. Absolute banger manga. How many mangas do you consume a day and how do you find them? Quite a few. I go through a lot of sites in order to find good manga, but the main one I use is Mangadex. I like it because in addition to serialized manga, you can also find indie manga that authors upload themselves and translations of Japanese Twitter comics. It's a great place to find hidden gems. What are your hobbies excluding reading, reviewing, recommending manga? Playing video games, watching movies, looking for interesting techniques to make stupid intros, opening the YouTube channel and creating some out of the norm content. What encouraged you to do so? There are a multitude of reasons that made me start this channel, but the two main ones are, I just wanted to recommend manga, and I was irritated by the manga recommendation scene on YouTube. It was all the same lazy regurgitated content with even lazier recommendations. You can go through like 10 top 10 videos and would only find 2 or 3 decent manga, so I took it upon myself to recommend consistently good manga. Manga that I would enjoy. And when I reach the point when there is no more good manga to recommend, manga barista will have to go back to the void. It may seem cringe, but love you, mate. I love you too. Do you play games? If yes, which ones? And also mention your favorite one. My favorite game is Dark Souls. I know, shocking. I also like Ori and the Blind Forest, Hades, Death Gambit, Blasphemous. The game that I'm currently looking forward to is Lies of P. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Sadly, I haven't been able to play any of the new titles like Elder Ring or Atomic Heart, because my laptop is a sack of potatoes. Are you an artist? Because you draw my attention. <laughs> you smooth bastard. By the way, are you really one? No, I don't have a fraction of artistic talent in me. Where are you from? Where am I from? Where do you think I'm from? Do you think I always have a black background behind me because I like it? I live in the freaking abyss. Favorite sports? None. Do you plan on covering mainstream shows like Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, or Jujutsu Kaisen in the future? Or are you focused on covering the more niche manga? I feel like it could help you grow if you cover some more mainstream series with your editing. Could mix it with your usual content. Like I said, my main motivation is to shed light on underrated and less known manga. So when it comes to mainstream manga, I don't see any point of talking about it when there is nothing to add. Especially if it's a shonen manga. And you guys know that I don't like shonen manga. With that said, there's nothing wrong with doing something different every now and then. So who knows, I might change my mind in the future. Also, I don't want to make anime content. 
because I heard that anime YouTube is a copyright nightmare. So yeah, I'm good. Do you plan to recommend any rom-com again at some point? Most definitely yes, because I love rom-coms. But not yet, since those videos do terribly. So my plan is to hold off until hopefully the channel is big enough so that the video isn't immediately buried by the algorithm the moment it's released. And when I do make it, it will be dedicated to the 60 people that like my previous rom-com videos. Ever heard of the manga The Witch and the Beast? It's pretty sick and I reckon you'd enjoy it. Hmm. Can't say I have. I'll be sure to check it out. Love your videos. You deserve more subscribers. Keep up the grind. By the way, I never read a light novel before. Is Blade and Bastard a good first novel? Oh, I've read all the manga and manhwa you've recommended. And a lot more. So many I can't count. And a lot of trash. I like the dark theme manga more. So is it a good first light novel for me? Sorry if it's too long. <laughs> your guess is as good as mine, Jelen. Cause I too never read a light novel before. All I know is that it's written by the author of Goblin Slayer. I wanna know, is YouTube really time consuming? Can we do alongside of any work or something? And lastly, what's your sauce code? Well, it depends on your content and how much work goes into it. For me, I build my videos from scratch and they're quite heavily edited. Most of my time is taken up by work so I do this on my free time. That's why I usually upload videos every two weeks or so because honestly that's the best I can do at the moment. So what I'm saying is, you can do YouTube alongside work or school. You just have to experiment and find the time and the amount of work that best suits you. Also, I'm not sure what you mean by my sauce code. Sorry Barista Lord, I'm so busy due to my exam and I won't be able to spend time on the internet. But I'm in time now. What's your favorite manga in the apocalyptic type? Did you read Blam? It's my favorite by the way. And lastly man, grow well and be a big YouTuber. Don't forget me and your old subscribers. <laughs> I guess it is about time for the finals, huh? So, good luck to everyone who are still in school. My favorite apocalyptic manga is Rebuild World. I'm surprised at how many of you are curious about my avatar. <laughs> it's basically Artorius in a suit. If you don't know who Artorius is, he's a boss from Dark Souls. He's also known as the Abyss Walker. I really like his design, so I put him in a suit because I like suits. As for his manga barista lore, it goes like this is an entity that exists in an endless void, which is why he always has a black background behind him. He can't leave that abyss. All he can do is receive and project information through tears in the fabric of space. And that's basically the Manga Barista channel. It's an abyssal creature that is broadcasting his love for manga. Or maybe he has ulterior motives. But who's to say? There are many versions of him. There is Barista 2.0, Jester Barista, Noir Barista, Douche Barista, The Protector, and many more you have yet to see. Are they the same person? Are they different individuals? Or is it all in his head? Maybe this entire channel is just a figment of his imagination. Just a lonely madman talking to the endless darkness. Now finally, before we end it, I recently posted a poll to see how many of you guys know about the secret recommendations. And as I expected, most of you don't know about them. You guys know I don't like to hold your hand in these kinds of things. But since I'm pretty sure this video isn't gonna get that many views, I think it's safe to reveal the secret just this once. The secret recommendations are the very last thing in the video. Go beyond the vast blue sky and you'll find them. Almost every video has one, some have more. So, happy hunting! I'll see you next time, but until then, take care of yourself for me, will ya?